Hi, welcome along. It's Saturday. Day for some more ceiling work. Yes, another renovation day. Today I've got everything organised. All the timbers are painted. I've got all the equipment, all the tools. I even made a couple of tools today as well. This is what I'm calling the helping hands. Uh, you can find quite a few tutorials on YouTube and other places that show you uh, little tricks and tips on how to make it easier when you're installing ceiling panels or any kind of panel, especially on your own. When I did the log panel wall, I used a similar technique. I was screwing a piece of timber into the wall that would kind of hold the log in place, stopping it falling off. So this is the same concept. I will insert this into the ceiling underneath the piece of timber that's already up there. And then with that in place, I can Put that piece of timber in there, it'll be held, no hands, and that gives me my two free hands available for some hammering and working this groove onto the previous tongue. So this should avoid the problem of timbers jumping off the ceiling and onto the floor. Let's see how it actually goes. I'll show you in practice up on the ceiling. Let's take a look. There's the first one in place. That'll hold things quite nicely. I'll just put the second one in. With those two helping hands in place, I'll take the next piece of tongue and groove timber, slot it into those grooves. That's gonna hold. One other thing I wanna show you is you're always going to use a block of timber when hammering. So you just put the scrap piece of material there and you hammer onto it. Otherwise, you're gonna damage the tongue in an extreme case like that. But that's a scrap, that's what it's for. got that in place. So that took about five minutes. Uh, a lot easier on the scaffold, be able to walk back and forth. And those two helping hands up there, definitely couldn't have done it without them. The timber sometimes just gets a little bit twisted and buckled. It's fine once it's in place and up onto the previous tongue and they're all connected up properly. And then when it's nailed up, there's no idea. I mean, you can't see any buckle there. It's just, you know, timber lives. So that's what happens. I'll just nail this one home. Next piece of timber is in place. I mean, you can see this process from start to finish. Well, this particular timber, it's taken probably close to 15 minutes. <sighs> Sometimes that's just what happens. Working by yourself definitely takes a lot longer. Uh, I'm certainly no expert, so <laughs> take these tips with a grain of salt. Try them at your own risk. Uh, yeah, but one thing's for certain. If you're gonna renovate and you're gonna do it yourself, you need patience and perseverance, not just to get you through the whole renovation, but to get you through even something as simple as putting a piece of timber up on the ceiling. I'm gonna continue here and let's see if I can get a little more progress done by the end of the day. I haven't got all the way across yet, but it feels like I can see the end in sight. Uh, these little helpers, they certainly paid for themselves. <laughs> they didn't cost me anything. A little bit of time, you know, 10, 15 minutes just quickly making these up. It didn't even take that long. It saved a lot of frustration and helped quite a lot getting uh, today's work done. I'll continue with this tomorrow. Let's see if I can make it across to the beam. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.